With this being a long haul event, there's a limited lineup for the leading support category WRC2. Hubert Ptashek made his class debut, but he failed to make it to the end of stage four El Chocolate, his car coming to a standstill after 43 kilometers. That left three cars to battle it out for the lead. Eric Camley hit the front early on, but damage to the dampers on the left side of his car saw him struggle with the handling. Local favorite Benito Guerra took soft tires, thinking there might be rain. There wasn't, but the Mexican still posted a good time in stage five and declared himself very happy nonetheless. Pontus Tiedemann arrived for his first attempt at this event as joint championship leader with Andres Mikkelsen. With the Norwegian not competing until Corsica, this was a real chance for Tiedemann to take a sizable lead in the championship. It was a great start too, as he finished the delayed opening day with a 25 second lead over Camelie. Day two saw Pedro Heller restart after his retirement on the first stage on Friday. Brakes that overheated made this a tough day for the Chilean. Mexico's Benito Guerra also suffered with overheating brakes, but he did at least make it to the end of the day to hold third. Up front, there was a battle royal for the lead. Pontus Tiedemann began the day 25 seconds up on Camille, but an overly cautious start saw him lose 19 to the Frenchman. Suddenly, his position was looking fragile. Camille saw his chance and gave it everything, winning five of the opening six stages on Saturday to overhaul Tiedemann and take the lead of the rally by just under three seconds. But it was to be short-lived as Tiedemann ended the day with a two-second lead. And so to the final day, Pedro Heller continuing to drive his own rally after Friday's retirement. The Chilean did at least make it through to the end, finishing fourth overall. With overheating brakes, but he too made it through the final 50 kilometers to claim the final podium position. Up front, there was everything to fight for. Camille and Tiedemann came into the day separated by just two seconds, but Camille wasn't able to live with the Swede in stage 18, losing over 22 to his rival. That allowed Tiedemann a relatively easy run through the power stage to take his second victory of the year and with it a clear lead in the championship. So after a thrilling battle, Tiedemann won it by 42 seconds and this is his first attempt at Mexico. Camille and Guerra making up the remaining podium places. In the championship standings, Tiedemann now has an eight-point lead over Camille, with Mickelson a further 17 points behind.